Hi everyone, it's John Shelley uh, from Your BBB back for our weekly scam discussion. Uh, thanks for joining us again, Shelley. Mm -hmm. um, and this week we'll be talking about storm scams. So last week we had uh, the first big sort of round of spring storms come through our service territory, especially Weld County. And um, that brings out storm chasers. And I think most people think of storm chasers, they think of the people who are driving around filming tornadoes. But uh, for BBB, we have a little different definition of that. So can you tell people, uh, Shelley, about some of the scams that come in the wake of a storm? Yeah, unfortunately, whenever we have natural disasters in the community, whether that's from hail damage, uh, tornadoes, or winds, um, there are chances that some out of state or what we call kind of traveling um, storm chasers will come into the area. And what happens is they just watch really um, what's happening in the country and whenever there's a major disaster with a lot of uh, damage from storms, whether that be on homes or vehicles, um, they might move into the area and start going door to door, knocking on homes, um, offering their services to help the homeowner get back on their feet. So uh, if, you're, if your home received any sort of storm damage, we had some hail damage and some flooding um, associated with these storms, uh, what are the first steps you should take to get it properly repaired? Yeah, the very first thing you want to do is to file an insurance claim and get that insurance claims process started right away. Um, the insurance company will help guide you in mitigating maybe some further damage. So, such as if you had um, windows knocked out from hail, you're going to want to take steps to try to ensure uh, water doesn't get into your home and whatnot. So, get the claims process started right away and then start contacting and researching potential contractors to help you with those uh, storm damage repairs. It's important that you do your research and um, BBB.org is one of the places that we encourage you to go to. Uh, research companies in your area and check out their history with us such as how many complaints have they had um, filed against them and how do they address those concerns? Um, do they have customer reviews and whatnot? And we always encourage uh, consumers to choose to do business with our BBB accredited businesses. They are the ones that help uphold um, our standards for trust and agree to um, conduct uh, business in the marketplace ethically and honestly. So if you are approached by somebody who claims to have a great deal on, on getting your storm damage repaired, what are the signs you should look out for in order to avoid these storm chasing scams? Yeah, so it's important if someone knocks on your door um, and if you're in a, a community where a solicitation, solicitations license is required, you may ask if they have that permit. Um, be on the lookout for anyone who's using the pitch that says, um, we have leftover materials from a job we did a couple blocks over or down the street. Um, if you hire us and use us, we'll give you a deal on the materials. Typically in those scenarios, um, they're asking you to sign a contract right there on the spot. Um, also, we'll be demanding upfront money um, that you pay right then and there before they get started. And we don't always see these scams associated with storms. We typically see a lot and a lot of people come in from out of state. But they are, you know, a classic one is asphalt too. Mm -hmm. With, uh, you know, saying like you said, we have material left over and we'll resurface your driveway. Exactly. And another sign um, is just to watch out for if, if the vehicle is unmarked and has out-of-state plates, um, you know, that's a red flag that you should do your due diligence and do uh, further research on that contractor before you do hire them. All right, so let's move on to cars because cars also get damaged in these kind of storms. And this is not so much an area with scams, but obviously uh, an area where uh, you know, a car is very part of people's livelihood, they want to get it repaired properly, and extensive hail damage can be a real complex process. So what are the first steps somebody should take uh, if their car has sustained hail damage? Yeah, again, it's the, kind of the same process. It, contact your insurance company right away um, and get that claims process started. Keep in mind that you're only going to have coverage on your vehicle if your insurance policy carries comprehensive damage coverage. Um, so um, once you get the claims process initiated, again, be researching um, area auto body shops that can you can get estimates from. I um, encourage you to get more than one estimate and make sure you're comparing the work that's done. And again, research those companies and BBB.org is a good place to go for that. Um, also, when you're choosing a shop, you might consider um, asking them if they have warranties or guarantees. And the other thing that a lot of people don't keep in mind is if your insurance policy doesn't have rental coverage available um, and you're going to have to um, incur that out-of-pocket expense, you might um, make sure that you have the understanding going into the repair work um, how long the vehicle is going to be in the shop.
And that can vary a lot, especially when we have an extensive storm, because mm -hmm. not so much the repairs taking time, but just getting your car scheduled since they'll have so many there. Exactly. So that's it for this week. Uh, again, if you're uh, approached by a scam or the target of a scam or you feel like you may have been the victim of a scam, you can always report that to us on bbb.org slash scam tracker as well as to law enforcement. And if you're looking for a company to help you with storm damage or any other home repairs or home improvement or car repairs, you go to bbb.org and search for uh, those businesses, including our accredited businesses in those areas. So thanks, Shelly, for joining us, and we'll see you all next week. Thank you.